morning, church. Another Sunday and another opportunity for us to witness baptism and just another sign to us of how God is alive and working and still changing lives. Every week when we do a baptism, you hear me quote the Great Commission that Jesus, who has all authority, has told us to make disciples. And upon making disciples, we are to baptize them and then spend the rest of our lives teaching them. But one thing that we don't talk about enough with baptism is that this water is not what saves you. This water does not wash away your sins. And sometimes we need to be reminded of this, right? Uh, this water is not going to get you clean. We don't have any soap in here. And this water certainly cannot clean your insides, can't clean your heart. But Jesus can. And the Bible teaches that he is able to save to the uttermost. And that whoever believes in him will get a clear conscience and will be forgiven of their sins. And so we baptize as a witness to the world of what Jesus has done in our lives, in our hearts, on the inside of us. Coming today, we have Megan Curitan. Come on, Maggie. Megan. Megan has been attending church now for quite some time. She's been listening. She's been, uh, we've been meeting together, and the Lord has been working in her life. And she has been trusting in Christ. I have heard her ask God for forgiveness. And she's believing that Jesus is Lord. And so here today in front of you all, with you being witnesses to it, I want to ask Megan. Megan, what is it that you believe? Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Amen. He is. And upon her profession of faith, I baptize her now as a sister in Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right, let's all stand and welcome each other.